Do you know what today is? Today is the third day of our three-day road trip across the country. Or our five-year anniversary. What a cool little town. I actually like this so much better than a hotel. I bet the people who live here are really happy. Tough crowd, right? Hi. Hi. Do you hear that? Hear what? The silence. It's nice. <sighs> Is Tamara here? No. I think you have the wrong home. That was weird. You are the messiest eater on the planet. Because you're here. In today's episode, we're going to talk about a film called The Strangers, Chapter 1 in 2024. A one hour, 31 minute horror released May 17th, 2024. Storyline. After their car breaks down in an eerie small town, of course it would, a young couple is forced to spend the night in a remote cabin, of course. Panic ensues as they are terrorized by three masked strangers who strike with no mercy and seemingly no motive. <laughs> Seen this before. Written by Alan R. Cohen, Alan Friedland, and Brian Bertino. And directed by Rennie Harlan. Here's the cast. Ryan Bowne as Jeff Morell. Madeline Pesch as Maya. Freud Gutierrez as Ryan. Ben Cartwright as Rudy. Stevie Davis as Dougie. Richard Brake as Sheriff Rotter. Pedro Leonardo as Deputy Walters. Emma Horabeth as Shelley. Janice Ahern as Carol. And the cast goes on. Folks, the classic from 2008 was fucking awesome. Because it was new. Something different. Uh, the Strangers Part 2, stupid as fuck. I won't review it because it ain't worth a review. Now, we have the new chapters. The Strangers Chapter 1. They're going to continue with the chapters now. I don't mind reboots. Okay? The actors, the three main actors in this movie have it made. They don't speak no fucking words. That's brilliance. All they got to do is act, perform, and kill. That being said, husband, wife, Traveling from countryside to countryside from across the United States. Of course, their car breaks down. And of course, they get sent to a remote, put into a remote cabin. Of course, the town's eerie and weird. He had two boys walk up to them and hand them church stuff. Of course. 
Then comes slowly, mind you, slow paced, slow, eventually these three, Dollface and Pinup and Scarecrow, they somehow got in the house. I don't know how. I mean, I didn't hear no door opening. I mean, it's a hard movie, whatever. Then they get loose and they start playing cat and mouse. And then you're thinking that the two might get away. And then, of course, they didn't. I think after all this that we watched, those two getting killed was nothing but a stab with a knife. All the hip, all the, you know, how's it going to end? Is it going to end bloody and gory like the first, like the original from 2008? No. 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 Two simple stabs. They barely get away from the cops. They get in a pickup truck and they drive away. I don't hate this movie, but maybe the chapter two is going to be better. I hope. But as of right now, I'm very disappointed with chapter one. That's the moral of the story. It wasn't even creepy like it like the one from 2008 was. Not even close. One, you already know what's going to happen. But it was more about how it was going to happen. And it was a total... I mean, I, you don't have to have total destruction of a body like like Terrifer was and that girl on that bed. That was overkill. That was stupid. But I'm talking about, you know, make it more interesting. But anyways, I'll let you guys decide what you... You know, if you haven't seen it, you might like it. That being said, this is Gruesome Herzog. I give this film a 5 out of 10, average at most, disappointed. So there you go, folks. Check it out, and you tell me what you think. This is Gruesome Herzog, and I'm out of here.